John Hancock here and you know nostalgia is at an all-time high you know there's a lot of products coming out that are reminiscing about better times or uh, adults now childhood memories and, and capturing the essence making some neat things and so I came across this uh, across at a clearance at Walmart and it's essentially a miniaturized Cubert arcade machine and at first I was like, oh, okay, that's interesting, but it's actually full color screen. And it's, while it's not like an arcade perfect version of it, it is pretty sweet. And I have to say, you know, uh, as a person growing up with uh, the Coleco tabletop uh, m machines and playing those as a kid, this is, this is like a modernized version of it and, and even better. So I wanted to just do an unboxing of this and kind of give my opinions of it. Let's check it out. So here's the pack packaging of this great little device. Um, I got it for clear on clearance for 20 bucks. Um, I do believe they're going for a little bit more on eBay. You can't find them. I do believe the company that made it is uh, part of a bigger company. And see here. Here's some of the information on it. Uh, of course, I can't read it now. Bridge Direct Incorporated. Uh, by basic fun and so there's four of these um, two are in color the other one's centipede um, of the two ones in color this was the better one there's two black and white ones space invaders and pac-man and honestly those look terrible and so here's the screen I'm gonna take it out of the out of the box and I'll kind of show you what's what's included it's kind of cool it's got like side artwork too pretty sweet wanted to show that so let's see here, take a take a butter knife here and look open the top here. It's got a nice packaging inside. I want to not damage the packaging too bad so I can keep it in box if needed. So here it is. It looks like it's got those. Oh, these are kind of cool. These are those twist ties, which uh are kind of nice. Nice to keep something in a package, but better than those twisty ties. He had to. I don't know if you've ever opened up a lot of children's toys, but man, those are terrible. These are so much better. I still want to keep it in the packaging when I'm done. Nice way to kind of store it, but this is something my son um, definitely. This is something great, maybe to show uh, your kids. You know, this is clean arcade fun. Uh, looks like it's got a pull tab for the battery here, and it pops out. So that's kind of cool. Kind of a nice way to dock it and keep that nice in there. Here you go. This is the screen. And take that. There we go. It is activated. Well, pull that too. Very good to go. So let's see it in action. Wanted to get the best job uh, best screenshot best possible for for this little device it's got a nice sturdy feel to it um, it does have like outside cases plastic but it's pretty nice so it's got a on and off button right in the front and uh, let's see here and uh, that's the screen on and off button for sound uh, it's not going to showcase what um, on on the camera but it's got a pretty clear screen and it looks uh, it looks like a potential version of like a, it kind of reminds me of the NES version of this game oh <laughs> totally died all right let's see here
Dang. A little bit harder control with uh, with with the small joystick, but I'm doing my best. Oh man, not doing too well. Oh geez, dying pretty bad here. That's the only thing. One thing that I, I do notice is the joystick is pretty small. Um, it's just going to take a little bit to get used to. Let's give it another try here. So again, it's not arcade perfect. Now this thing, I wonder if this thing could be packed, but it is fully playable. Yeah, it's a little bit hard to control with a little tiny joystick knob. That's my only complaint of this is trying to control it it's a little bit for my big hands. Might be better to just like, and and you have to be used to Kubrick control. That's one thing that uh, you have to get used to is that can a Kubrick Kubrick control. If you look on the joysticks here. That's how you control it, and some people, it, that's a little bit tough to do. There we go. Yeah, take that. Kind of have to look down on my control to make sure I'm doing it right. <laughs> oh! You know, it's funny, after all these years, I've played so much of the Atari 2600 version because it's fast. It's still one of my favorite. Oh, Kate, that little... Did it! Yeah! Woo! <laughs> All right, this is where I die. Not bad though. Come on. Ah, not the best Kubert player. Screen is really nice though. Womp womp. So there you have it. That's Cubert, mini arcade classic. And uh, you know, uh, earlier I mentioned that uh, the first two of these Pac-Man and Space Invaders were black and white. That's actually incorrect. It's a liquid crystal display, LCD, LCD uh, screen. Um, but they're they're not they're not that any good. I, I looked at them. This is the one you want of the four that have been released. Cubert uh, is the best one in my opinion. So the other thing I totally missed showing was. Uh, the manual. <laughs> it does come with a black and white manual pretty much telling you it takes uh, three AA batteries and uh, that's it. I uh, Hopefully more of these are coming. Uh, having it on clearance and there was a ton of these on clearance I don't know what the original retail price of this was but um, you know I think it, I think it kind of missed that sweet spot price. You know this is a novelty item. This is a great gift if you know someone that's in the classic arcade machines and don't want to buy them an arcade machine, you can buy them this. This is pretty sweet. I'd love to see if people can hack these and what can they come up with. It'd be really neat to see these hacked and have MAME on it or something else. I'm sure there's some brilliant, bright people out there that have already done it. I'd love to hear about it. So anyways, thank you so much for uh, letting me unbox this and showcase it on my channel. Um, I like doing stuff like this. Uh, little novelty product items, items that, you know, things that not necessarily are going to get a ton of views, but um, I enjoy doing it. It's a lot of fun just to talk about classic arcade items or classic video games. Uh, what else would you like to see? 
as always, I do two videos a week, uh, one on Thursdays, one on Sundays. And I also have a patron, a patron uh, page in which uh, as little as a dollar a month, you can support me. And I do an exclusive video for, for those who can support me. Thank you so much. Uh, if it's not for you fans, I wouldn't be doing this. This is the immortal John Hancock. Take care.